Probability Beyond the Basics We're going to discuss the complement of an event. The complement rule for probability. The addition rule for probability. The definition of odds. And the definition of a conditional probability. We're also going to talk about the complement of a set, the intersection of two sets, and the union of two sets, because set theory is the foundation of probability. Definition of the complement of an event. That is the list of outcomes that are not in the event, but are still in the sample space things that are not in E but are in S and the notation that's used to describe this list is not E. Complement rule for counting. N of E plus N of not E equals N of S. What this is is the following. The number of outcomes that are in an event plus the number of outcomes that are not in the event equals the number of total possible outcomes in the sample space. Take a look at this take a look at this picture. It's a Venn diagram. If we count the people in blue that are in region E, we'll see that there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. If we count the people that are not in region E, that are outside the region, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 people, and they're all in silver. By the complement rule, if we take the 7 people that are in E, we add them with the 13 people that are not in E, we find that it's equal to 20 people that are in this Venn diagram the total number of people in this picture. The number of people that are in E, the number that are not in E, is the total. For, for example, consider the experiment of rolling a die. There are six possible outcomes when you roll a die. One through six. The event of rolling a five corresponds to the outcome that is just the 5. And there is one outcome in that list, E. The complement of rolling a 5, or the complement of set E, are the outcomes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. They're all the outcomes that are not in E, but are still in the sample space. And there are five possible outcomes. Notice that 1 plus 5 is 6. If you consider the event of rolling a number that's less than 5, F has all the numbers or outcomes that are less than 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, because less than 5 means smaller than 5. Notice that there are four outcomes that are smaller than 5. The complement of F is a list of outcomes that are not in F, mainly the 5 and 6, but are still in the sample space. Notice that there are two outcomes in the complement of F. So that 4 plus 2 also is 6, the total in the sample. Consider the experiment of rolling a die again, the six outcomes in the sample space. If you look at the event labeled H, the event corresponding to rolling a number that's more than 5, more than means greater than, the only outcome that's greater than 5 in the sample space is 6. The complement of H are the list of outcomes that are not in H. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there are 5 outcomes that are not in H, are in the complement. 
notice again that 1 plus 5 equals 6, the total outcomes in the sample space. If you consider the event of rolling a number that is at least 5, at least 5 means 5 or more. So it is the 5 and the 6 that are listed in J. There are two outcomes that are at least 5. But the complement of J, the outcomes that are not in J, are the 1, 2, 3, and 4. And there are four outcomes that are not in J. So that 2 plus 4 is 6, the total in the sample space. If you consider, for example, Having two children has a sample space that consists of four possible outcomes. If the event of having no boys is labeled E with a GG, notice there are no boys in that outcome. The complement of E is the BB, the GB, and the BG. Those outcomes are not in E, but they are still in the sample space. And notice that they are three outcomes. So 1 plus 3, again, notice is 4, the total number of possible outcomes. If you consider the event of having one boy, notice F is labeled BG and GB. Those are the only outcomes that correspond to having one boy. The complement of F is BB and GG. Those outcomes are not in F, but they are still in the sample space. Since there's two outcomes in F, this implies that there's two outcomes not in F because there's a total of four possible outcomes in the sample space. Notice again when you have two children, the sample space is the four possible outcomes associated with having two children. The event of having two boys is the one outcome that is BB. It's the only outcome that corresponds to having two boys. The complement of H, the list of outcomes that are not in H but are still in the sample space, is the GG, the GB, and the BG. There are three outcomes that are not in H. So 1 plus 3 again equals the total number of possible outcomes, N of S, which is Outcomes associated with having at least one boy is the BG, GB, and BB. Those outcomes, you have at least one boy, and there are three. But the complement of J is a list of outcomes that are not in J but are still in S, namely the GG. Again, there's one possible outcome that's not in J. So 3 plus 1, once again, is 4. card from a standard deck. The event of picking an ace, there are four aces in the deck. The complement of an ace is a non-ace, all the cards that are not aces. That means we remove all the aces. So this is a picture of a deck of cards with all the aces removed. And so if there's 52 cards in a deck, four of which are aces, that means that there are 48 non-aces. The event of picking a spade. There are 13 spades in a deck of cards. The ace of spades, the two of spades, up to the ten of spades, the jack, the queen, and the king of spades. The complement of a spade is a non-spade. All the cards in the deck that are not spades. This is a picture of all the non-spades in a deck of cards. You got the hearts, you got the diamonds, and you got the clubs. Notice if there's 52 cards in a deck, 13 of which are spades, that means that there's 39 non-spades in 